There are even more questions surrounding a Charlotte school that suddenly closed its doors, leaving its students without a place to learn and their parents scrambling. Now we've been following the sudden closure at Legacy Preparatory since Friday almost every day. Well, tonight a local lawmaker is demanding answers and told Allison Lottas he plans to call a special meeting to get them. Allison? Mm -hmm. Representative Craig Horn co-chairs the Joint Oversight Committee on Education and told me today he wants to call a committee meeting to get to the bottom of what happened. It's really important to stress here that Legacy Preparatory is a private school. That means the state has no oversight over its operation or finances. Parents ultimately have to do their homework before enrolling their kids. But I found out this past semester, Legacy Prep received $283,500 in tax money through the North Carolina Opportunity Scholarship Program for 135 of their students. Families who meet income requirements can apply for up to $4,200 in scholarship money per student for tuition per year. Money the state pays directly to the school. And that's why Representative Horn says lawmakers should get answers. Are those families being treated fairly? Is the state being treated fairly in, in supplying the scholarships? And what are we getting for what we're paying? The State Education Assistance Authority told me because Legacy Prep had not received 300000 in scholarship money, they were not required to have a CPA conduct a financial review because they closed at the end of the semester. The authority tells me the school does not have to return any money. Students who receive those scholarships can transfer and use them at other schools, but as we know, many parents are struggling to find a new school that will accept their kids.